a cabo and more with Yoruba basics. Welcome Yoruba basic students. Today we're going to talk about how to greet your elders. We're going to do a quick description of how to greet your elders. In no way is this comprehensive because Yoruba language is Yoruba people, Yoruba culture, very, very huge on greeting. Um, and so not greeting is disrespectful. Greeting not properly is disrespectful. You have to know the specifics of how to greet, especially people that are meant to be your elders. So let's just get right into it. The learning objective for today is we're going to learn how to greet an elder person based on the time of day. Okay, so you can greet, greet someone based on many different things. Maybe they're sitting down, maybe they're doing work, maybe they're selling. There's so many ways you can greet someone. But today we're going to specifically learn how to greet someone based on the period of the day. Um, we're going to learn the gestures that you would use to greet someone based on who you are as a male or female, and then the pronoun that you would use to greet someone who is older than you. Cultural application is to always, um, you have to understand that you always have to greet an elder person. You have to greet them first if you can. Um, maybe they don't see you and they greet you first, that's fine. But if they can see you first, uh, if you can see them first, you go to them, you greet them, and you greet them in a proper Yoruba manner. Um, especially someone that is known to you, someone that you've met before, someone that is a family member, you have to greet them. Um, if you greet someone that, is, if you encounter someone that is significantly older, like a parent, uh, if you're a female, you will kneel for them. Kneeling, obviously, we'll show you an image of that in a little while here. You just kneel um, on both knees. If you're in a place where it's not acceptable for you to kneel all the way down, maybe it's dirty, it's the streets, it's um, you know, it's maybe you know, just maybe someone that you not you don't know that much. You can just curtsy, you know, you can just do a quick curtsy to say thank you. Um, if you're a male, on the other hand, the way you greet an adult person is you would prostrate, almost like you're doing a push-up. You know, you would lay down with your legs straight out. And if again, if you find yourself in a situation where you can't do that or, or touch the floor, then you can just, you know, you can just kind of bend, okay? And I do a half prostrate. Okay, so what is involved in greeting an elderly person, Yoruba? There are two things, two things that you have to keep in mind. The first thing is that you have to do the, what you say. And then the second thing is what you have to do, okay? So you have to do those two things at the same time. You have to say something, and then you have to do something. It's very similar to the English language where you say, you know, somebody older or someone formal, you might say good morning while shaking their hands. Well, you're saying good morning and you're shaking the hands, which is what you're, you're saying and doing. So in Yoruba, you say something and then you do something. In Yoruba, what you would say to someone usually is preceded by e ku, e ku, and then the period of the day. So if you're talking to someone in the morning, Eku, and then the period of the day is aro. So eku aro. If it's afternoon, which is oson, you say eku oson. If it's evening, eku irole, and then eku ale. Eku e is actually the pronoun. Okay, the e is the pronoun that you would use for that elderly person. Okay, unlike English, we separate the pronouns. We have a pronoun for someone that's older than you and then someone that is the same age as you. Okay, so for someone that's the same age as you, you would use O, but we're concentrating on the formal one. So you say eh, ku. Now, ku, sometimes people say, oh, that, you know, is that is that the same as uh, good and everything? Not necessarily. Sometimes it translates to that, but that's not actual translation. Then as far as what you would do, if you would male, if you were male, you would prostrate, and if you were female, you would kneel. All right. So what are the times of day or the periods of day that you could put in here? Well, aro is morning, oso is afternoon, irole is evening, and then ale is night. So you would say eku, and then if it's morning, you would say aro. Eku oso, eku irole. And then eku ale. So eku, remember the eku, the pronoun, what they're doing, and the, the time of day. You're greeting them like I'm acknowledging you this morning, I'm acknowledging you this afternoon, this evening, this night. Another tip that a tip that I want to give you is to make it more formal or make it more respectful. You can put ma at the end of the uh, of this of the sentence to kind of show that you're, you're showing even more respect. So, eku aro ma, 
okay, to someone who's a um, female or eku aro sa, somebody who is male, okay? It just shows even more respect, okay? So this is what it would look like if you add them. So if you take the e plus the ku and aro, then you have a karo, kind of joined together as in, it's as someone says do not, but they can say don't, okay? So that's kind of like some words taken out of it to just kind of make it more smoother. So eku Aro. So the air plus the ku plus the aro will give you a caro. Air plus ku plus oso will be a kason. Air plus ku plus irole will be a krole. And then air plus the ku plus the ale will be a kale. Okay, see how kind of they look a little bit different, but it's essentially the same thing. It's just the pronunciation is a little bit more drawn out. And essentially what you're saying is a caro is good morning or morning greetings, a kason. Afternoon greetings, a kurole, evening greetings, and then a kale, night greetings. Now, some people might say, well, because it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. No, good night in English means I'm about to go to sleep, I'm leaving, bye. Okay, but in Yoruba, if you see someone at night and say, a kale, you're not saying I'll talk to you later. You're saying I'm acknowledging you during this night time here. I'm acknowledging you right now, and it's night time. All right, so don't make the mistake. A kale is not the same as good night. All right, so let's look at some visuals, okay? I wanted to kind of get the basics and the backgrounds out of the way, but let's look at the visuals. This is an older lady, and she's sitting down. She probably looks like their grandma. She's sitting down, and then she has younger ones that are greeting her. If you notice, the boy frustrates, which is he lays all the way down to greet her, and the girl kneels, okay? So she's like a caro, and she has a ma at the end of it, a caro ma. The boy can say a caro ma also, and her response is a caro. Okay, she can obviously respond in so many ways, but a caro, you can say a caro and a caro back. Good morning, good morning. Okay, or acknowledging this morning, morning greetings, morning greetings, whichever way you want to translate good morning to. Um, also, so this is afternoon time. Good afternoon. Or, you know, encouraging you this afternoon, a casson, casson, Yoruba people love to say, oh, <laughs> actually, maybe I shouldn't even say Yoruba people, maybe it's just African people in general, but we like to have the O oh at the end of it for emphasis, okay? Um, it, you know, basically it's like, oh, I hear you and I'm in agreement, okay? A casson, sa, casson, notice that he doesn't have the, um, the pronoun in front of it. The air because the air pronoun is reserved for someone older, and because he's the older one and he he's the younger one, he doesn't even have it in front of it. So kason is is good enough. Now it's evening time here, and Kenny is greeting someone that is obviously older than him, and he's saying ekuri rolema, and she's responding kuri role Kenny. So you can put someone's name at the end of your greeting, you know. If somebody's older than you, you don't call them by their name. But um, if someone's younger than you, you can say Kuirole Kenny or Kuirole Mary, you know, or whatever the name is. Okay. And then um, last but not least, Ale. Ale is nighttime. Ale. So Ekale Babami. Now, notice in this case how she curtsies. Now, if we go back to, to Kenny over here, he kind of like bends a little bit. It's kind of grassy outside. You know, maybe there's like squirrel poop or whatever. He doesn't want to get too dirty. So he greets without going all the way down like it was earlier at the patio with the grandma. Okay. So again, with her, she's doing the ekale. You know, she maybe she just came in, just saw her dad, and she's like, ekale babami. Ekale babami, which means my father. And her, his response is, kale o tai, kale o tai. In her case, she's curtsying. You know, it's acceptable. Um, um, you know, kind of like a gesture, like I'm about to kneel, kind of a curtsy. Okay. So there you have it. A caro, morning greetings. A caston, afternoon greetings. A quirole, evening greetings. And a kale, night greetings. And so there you have it. That's how you would greet someone that is older than you in Yoruba depending on the period of the day. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to get more information about um, Yoruba, how to le learn more about how to greet someone, maybe based on the fact that they're doing something or what have you, make sure you check out our Yoruba Basic School online. 
we go into more details and we make sure you understand and get you speaking Yoruba within months, okay? Very well too. So thank you very much and uh, take care. We have additional resources on our website, so check us out. Take care. Bye-bye. Odabo. Odabo.